Good morning, Hero Wars fans. This video will be a continuation of the topic on raising the level of skin that I discussed in the video I posted the other day. In the video I posted earlier, I told you that even though I have a large stockpile of skin stone, I try not to level up hero skin all at once. The reason for this is to be prepared to level up the main team's hero skin at any time, so as not to be troubled if the task level up hero skin suddenly appears in an event task. Then, on the third day of the trial of Tay Heaven's event, an event task appeared today, upgrade any hero skin three times. We need to be constantly aware of our skin stone stockpile because we are sometimes asked to do these unexpected quests. Leveling up a hero skin used outside of the main team and grand arena to accomplish the event task of upgrading the hero skin three times would, in the short term, be a waste of resources. If you think in terms of years, leveling up any hero skin does not mean that skin stone has been used in waste. However, using resources to level up a hero who will rarely be used in Guild War and Grand Arena is the same as wasting resources for a time. The other day I had only leveled up Kark's Celestial Skin to level 30, so today I was able to joyfully level up Kark's Celestial Skin to level 34 and complete the event task. In contrast, one of my guildmates had leveled up Kark's Celestial Skin to level 60 in just one day. In order to protect the honor and dignity of guildmate, I can never expose his name in this video. No. No, no, his name is firmly displayed in the private message image shown here. Again, for the sake of Guildmate's reputation and glory, I can never expose his name to the entire world via YouTube video. No, 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 you have English subtitles on the Japanese chat image, and you're ready to expose this conversation to the whole world in the English audio version of this video. Even if you are playing in Guild with me, your private conversations will not be exposed in the video as long as you do not engage in unintentional conversations with me. I had no idea yesterday that I would be exposing the contents of this conversation to my audience. However, the moment I saw today's trial of the Heavens event assignment, I suddenly had a conversation in my head with a guildmate from the other day. To the extent that you lose the opportunity to receive 100 Outland coins from the daily quest by not performing one skin level up, it is not too much of a concern. However, we all want to avoid a situation like this, where the event task is not completed on the third day of a one-week event, so I am sure that there are some viewers who have completed the event task by leveling up hero skin, which they do not plan to use in the grand arena, three times, even though they did not want to. In order to be prepared for such contingencies, it is a good idea to always keep a certain amount of pet summoning eggs, portal charges, summoning spheres, artifact chest keys, etc. in your inventory. In my case, I have set a rule for myself to stockpile 300 pet summoning eggs, one email with portal charges received, 300 summoning spheres, and about 300 artifact chest keys. Autumn Festival will suddenly be held from now on through the fall. The Autumn Festival event is a medium-sized, three-day event, but its charm lies in the fact that the contents of the Matryoshka-style treasure chests are quite spectacular. Moreover, the Autumn Festival event requires the completion of both the event task of collecting 500 Hero Soul Stones and the event task of using 80 pet summoning eggs within 3 days at the same time. The difficulty of this Autumn Festival event should tell you that the rewards you will receive at the Autumn Festival event are more spectacular than those at other events. Last year's Autumn Festival event was held the week after the pet-based event, and there were a few game users who were in a hurry to stock up on pet summoning eggs. Hero Wars tends to hold large-scale events, new pet birth events, and new hero birth events every month from summer through the end of the year. In order to avoid tears of frustration at not completing event tasks during these events, we must always be mindful to stockpile various coins and other resources. Well, as long as we game users buy emeralds, we can enjoy the event without any worries. Here is a request from Kenru to those who have seen this video. The videos on this video channel are produced by Kenru, a Japanese national, using unfamiliar English. As of now, this video channel has less than 1000 subscribers, so Kenru will not receive any revenue even if the video is viewed. If you feel you would like to support Kenru after watching this video, please subscribe to this video channel. I have tried to make the videos posted on this video channel available with subtitles in 48 different languages. I would appreciate it if you could introduce this video to your guildmates by pasting the URL of this video into the guild chat. I have devised and created this video so that anyone can understand the content of this video regardless of the nationality and native language of your guildmates, so you can introduce this video to your guildmates without worrying about the language they normally speak. 
Thank you for watching the video until the last part. I'll see you in my next video.